On their way home, after an exhausting day, a group of five tourists thought they were seeing a pastoral landscape of grazing sheep. Anticipating to see the beautiful scenery and take some pictures for their socials, they decide to get closer. What they saw made them scream in terror. The day was finally over and it was time to go home. Wangle Island wasn't what they had expected. The tourists were exhausted from the unfortunate happenings of the day. Expecting to get to the shore, they set out on a picturesque trail, walking towards the beach to get to the boat. As they leisurely walked through the lush meadows, a peculiar sight caught Emma's attention, a herd of what appeared to be brown sheep grazing peacefully in the distance. Look guys, sheep! She shouted in delight. She pointed to a far-off hillside where white dots were seen. Everyone's eyes looked at where she was pointing. Excited whispers filled the air as everyone took their phones out, ready to record the breathtaking view. Let's get a closer look. I've never seen sheep up close before, Mark, a friend of Emma, suggested. Despite being tired, they all agreed to have a look. With a spring in their step and anticipation in their hearts, the tourists set out towards the landscape, hoping to capture some memorable photographs for their socials. However, as they approached the herd, a chilling realization struck them like a bolt of lightning. An eerie silence engulfed the air, and the innocent smiles on their faces quickly transformed into expressions of fear as they screamed in terror. This wasn't happening. What an unlucky day. To be honest, the tour hadn't started on a good note. Their guide had left them on the shore, encouraging them to get lost into the woods and appreciate the unfiltered beauty of the scenery. However, while on this quest to enjoy their day, the tourist encountered a pack of hungry bears. Hearts pounding and hands quivering, they all dispersed and ran for their lives. The bears started to chase them menacingly, their growls echoing through the atmosphere like a portent of impending disaster. Each attempted to flee the fierce animals that were after them in a last-ditch effort to survive. Emma ran into the thick underbrush, her heart thumping in her ears and her lungs burning from the exertion. Just when she thought she couldn't run any longer, she stumbled upon a hidden cave nestled within the rocky cliffs. With no other option left, she went inside, praying that the bears wouldn't find her. Meanwhile, Mark, on the other side, ran towards the dense forest space right after another tourist, Jackson. However, that decision wasn't the best, as amid their heavy breathing and footsteps, they could still hear the heavy growls from the bears. Through the dense foliage, the men fled, the distant roar of the bears spurring them on. Branches snagged at their clothes, thorns prickled their skin, but still they pressed forward, driven by sheer terror. Hours seemed to pass as they stumbled through the underbrush, their breath coming in ragged gasps. Jackson clutched his guidebook like a lifeline, its pages torn and tattered. I think we're lost. He said this, breathing heavily. So what do we do? Mark asked, his voice shaking in fear. Let's keep walking. I have a feeling that we're about to get lucky. Jackson replied calmly. Lucky? You must be joking. To Mark, luck was the last thing he wanted to hear from anyone's mouth. What was lucky about having to run for your life on an island instead of enjoying its beauty? He wondered. But, since it was the only hope he could hold on to, he embraced the possibility. When they thought they couldn't go any further, they stumbled upon a clearing bathed in golden light. Nestled within its embrace stood a quaint cottage, its chimney puffing smoke into the crisp autumn air. Relief flooded through their eyes as they staggered towards the cottage, their legs trembling with exhaustion. Mark pounded on the door, his knuckles white with strain and it swung open to reveal a kind old woman. As the two men introduced themselves to the woman, Emma was still all alone in the cave. She waited hours for the bears to go away or even forget about her. Her senses were acutely aware of every sound and movement outside the cave. After sitting for what seemed like forever, she finally plucked up the confidence to get out into the unknown. 
She didn't know where Mark and the other tourists were. She just hoped that they had not left her on this forsaken island. She peered around before getting out of the cave, determined to find the others at all costs. With each stride she took, her paranoia increased. She kept feeling like someone was following her, and she kept turning to see who it was, but no one was around except for her. Thinking it was another fierce animal following her, she fastened her pace. She didn't like how things had turned out. They had come to enjoy the island, but here she was, walking without knowing where she was going. She kept calling out Mark's name from time to time in the hope that he would hear her. Tears filled up her eyes, ready to cast Cade down the cheeks at any moment. The thought of a bear showing up was killing her. All she could hear were the chirping birds and a cool breeze. As she paced through, she stumbled on a rock and fell, twisting her ankles. That was as far as she could go, she realized, and she broke down in tears. A glimpse of her remaining on the island alone flushed through her eyes, and she couldn't stop crying. Every thought made her cry even more. She was hungry and exhausted, and still felt like she was being watched. A chill ran down her spine when she realized she wouldn't be able to outrun a predator with her twisted ankle. Why on earth had she decided to go on this horrible trip? She was a city girl. She had no clue how to survive in the wilderness, and it showed. Just as she had given up, two of the other tourists they were with came to her rescue. They had also been running from the bears, and they were looking for a way back to the shore. Emma felt like crying again, but this time from relief. At least now she was not alone. The tourist helped her to her feet and walked with her to find the others. They hoped they were safe and sound and that they would find a way to go back to the shore without making any more unexpected encounters. Wrangell Island had not been good to them, and they couldn't wait to get out. They walked for a while until they saw a cottage. A glimpse of hope shone through their eyes as they walked towards it. It was the same cottage that Mark and Jackson had entered. As they approached it, Emma heard Mark's voice. Excited, she called out to him. Mark and Jackson had frantically explained to the old lady that they were looking for some people who might have been attacked by bears. They had lost sight of them and weren't sure if they were dead or alive or somewhere dangerously in between. They wanted to go right back into the forest to look for Emma and the others, but the old lady advised them against it. She believed that they would simply get lost again or stumble upon the bears once more. It was safer for them to stay inside the cottage. She would use her landline phone to call the tour guide and ask them to come back with backup. The old lady also made them chamomile tea to calm their nerves. Mark and Jackson tried to make themselves comfortable, hoping that Emma and the others had found a way to escape the bear attack. After a while, the chamomile tea helped them relax a little and the old lady started chit-chatting to take their mind off the harrowing experience as they waited for the rescuers. They were enjoying their time and listening to stories about Wrangell Island when they heard Emma's voice calling out Mark's name. He rushed outside and hugged her, happy to be reunited with his friend. They entered the cottage and their host made more chamomile tea for the new guests. They were all happy to be there, safe and sound, despite the horrible ordeal they had gone through. It was a blessing that they had found each other again. After spending an hour together, they decided it was time to find their way back to the shore. The old lady showed them a shortcut to get them to the shore faster. They thanked her and started their journey towards the shore. The walk was quiet. No one was in the mood to talk anymore. All that could be heard were the chirping birds and a cool breeze. They were almost near the shore when Emma showed them an astounding sight, a flock of sheep grazing in a field. Eager to experience at least one good adventure during this trip, they all walked to take a closer look. However, what they had mistaken for sheep turned out to be something far more formidable, a group of cunningly disguised bears. Oh no, not again, one of them yelled. A wave of panic surged through their veins as they realized the enormity of the situation. These charming animals were not the friendly, harmless creatures they had anticipated. 
Fear gripped their hearts, and their instincts screamed at them to flee. However, they were not ready for another chase throughout the island. What they had gone through was enough for the day. Moreover, they knew by now that running away from the bears only spurred them on. They were predators after all, and saw everything running as prey waiting to be chased. So, they all took a deep breath and decided they would step away slowly without turning their backs to the bears. But just as they walked away, Emma's eyes met a bear who evoked emotions in her. It was all alone, far away from the rest of the group, and it seemed to be struggling with something. It suddenly dawned on her that perhaps this bear had been the presence shadowing her in the woods earlier. Maybe it had hoped for her to help it there, but she had been too distressed to notice. Amidst her fear, a glimmer of compassion found its way through. Gazing upon the troubled bear, she saw a creature in need. A sharper look revealed that it had gotten its front paws entangled in some thorny bushes, and its face reflected distress. Guys, I think the bear needs our help. Emma informed the rest of the group. They all looked at her like she was deranged. Are you crazy? That's a bear. Have you forgotten what had happened to you today because of these creatures? Count me out. I've had enough for today, one of them said. All of them refused to help the bear, but Emma didn't give up and managed to convince them to at least get a little closer. Summoning their courage, they carefully approached the bear, their hearts pounding with fear. The creature locked its gaze onto them, snarling softly as a warning. However, it seemed more scared of them than ready to pounce, and its dejected demeanor broke everyone's heart. Deciding she needed to help it, Emma slowly walked closer, stopping each step to wait for the bear to get accustomed to her presence. Then, when she was just a few steps away, she carefully calmed the bear with soothing words. Mark and Jackson followed her example, slowly surrounding the bear. The creature didn't bare its teeth nor attempt to flee. Surprisingly, it even reached forward with its front paws, as if it knew they were there to help it with this mess. With steady hands and unwavering determination, the three tourists managed to free the predator from its prickly trap. They all jumped back as it regained freedom of movements. However, rather than aggression, the bear seemed to express heartfelt appreciation for their heroic efforts. Now free from the entanglement, the bear scampered away into the safety of the landscape. While it walked away, the other bears turned towards the humans, their noses twitching. Emma, Mark, and Jackson felt a chill of terror run down their spine. Perhaps they had helped one bear, but would the others take advantage of their kindness to attack? They were too close to the group and would not be able to outrun them or even hide in this open field. However, the bear they had helped did something unexpected. As he moved towards the group, he let out a loud roar that stopped the other bears in their tracks. The three friends exchanged puzzled glances. Was the bear defending them from the rest of the predators? It would have been interesting to test this theory, but they collectively decided that they had had enough adventures for one day. As the tourists retraced their way back to the boat, a newfound sense of comradeship and accomplishment enveloped them. They realized that sometimes the most intimidating challenges can lead to unexpected bonds and triumphs. Their day was initially filled with fear of being attacked by bears, but it had transformed into an extraordinary adventure of compassion and bravery. Don't you think it's amazing how heroes are found in the most unlikely situations? Do you know of a story where an intimidating challenge turned into a heroic moment? Tell us in the comments. We'd love to hear about it. For now, we're out. See you in the next video.